Welcome back everyone. For more than a decade, engineers have been shrinking the transistors that power every modern computer, smartphone, and data center. Each new generation has been harder to achieve, pushing the limits of physics and materials. Now the semiconductor industry is entering a new stage called the 2 nanometer era. This is where a single transistor's gate length is close to the width of a strand of DNA. The change is not only about making smaller features, but about redesigning the very shape of the transistor itself. The dominant design for years has been the fin field effect transistor, known as FinFET. It allowed current to flow along a thin, vertical fin, with a gate wrapped around three sides. That design replaced the flat planar transistors used before 2011 and provided excellent electrostatic control. However, as transistors reached scales below 5 nanometers, the fins became too narrow to hold enough current. Leakage increased, heat rose, and fabrication precision could no longer be maintained. This led research groups to develop a new structure called the gate all-around transistor, which encloses the channel completely and gives tighter control over the flow of electrons. Imagine a stack of nanosheets arranged like thin ribbons. Each sheet forms a narrow channel through which current travels from source to drain. The gate material surrounds each sheet, forming a full wrap that enhances electrical control. Because the gate surrounds all sides, voltage changes act more uniformly across the channel, reducing leakage and allowing lower operating power. In the 2 nanometer generation, multiple nano sheets can be stacked vertically within a single transistor to increase drive current without expanding area. The geometry of these nano sheets represents the crucial advance. Each sheet is typically 5 to 10 nanometers thick and separated by insulating spaces. During fabrication, engineers grow alternating layers of silicon and silicon germanium. The germanium serves as a sacrificial material that is later removed. After etching the sidewalls, selective chemical solutions dissolve the germanium, leaving open spaces that become the channels. Metal gate materials are then deposited to wrap around the remaining silicon layers. The result is the distinctive gate all around design. Electrostatics define how well a transistor can control its internal electric field. In a FinFET, the gate manages three sides of the channel, but the fourth side, which is connected to the substrate, allows a bit of field leakage. In a GAA device, the channel is completely enclosed, shortening the distance between the gate and every point within it. This strengthens field control and suppresses those short channel effects that normally appear at very small geometries. It allows devices to operate at lower voltage while still maintaining high performance. Development of this new geometry depends on a network of specialized institutions. IBM's Albany Nanotech Complex first demonstrated a 2 nanometer test chip built from four stacked nano sheets. The design achieved 45% higher performance at the same power level compared to prior nodes. Samsung Electronics adapted the concept into a manufacturable structure called the Multibridge Channel FET, adjusting nanosheet width to fine-tune current flow. These breakthroughs mark the transition from laboratory design to pilot-scale fabrication. A transistor acts like an electronic valve. When the gate voltage crosses a certain threshold, it forms an electric field that allows electrons to move from source to drain. The smaller the gate and the more completely it wraps around the channel, the more precise the control becomes. The challenge at the 2 nanometer scale is maintaining uniform electric fields inside ultra-thin sheets. Variations in gate thickness or surface roughness can cause local high field zones that reduce reliability. To prevent this, manufacturers use atomic layer deposition, which builds materials one atomic layer at a time. ASM International has refined this process to achieve uniform coating around every nanosheet, ensuring consistent dielectric strength. Patterning these structures depends on extreme ultraviolet lithography. ASML's EUV scanners define features far below 15 nanometers by focusing ultraviolet light through a complex system of mirrors operating in vacuum. To reach 2 nanometers, engineers use double patterning and advanced resist chemistry. ASML's next generation high numerical aperture systems, expected to enter production by 2027, will push resolution even further. 
Supporting tools from Tokyo Electron provide resist coating and etching precision that keeps nanosheet layers perfectly aligned through dozens of fabrication steps. Beyond geometry, material science has become decisive. Silicon channels are nearing their mobility and heat limits. Research teams at CEA Letty are experimenting with germanium tin alloys that increase carrier mobility while remaining compatible with existing deposition equipment. Fraunhofer IZM is developing thin thermal interface layers that improve heat transfer between active regions and the underlying substrate. Such incremental advances are what make the two nanometer process both possible and reliable for sustained commercial use. Backside power delivery is another milestone. In conventional designs, signal and power wiring share the same upper layers, causing resistance and thermal buildup. Moving power lines beneath the transistor shortens current paths and reduces voltage drop. IBM and Intel have demonstrated integrated backside wires that supply each nano sheet stack directly from below, improving energy efficiency by up to 20%. CEA Letty is analyzing the thermal effects of this design to ensure stable operation when power density peaks. Fabricating these devices requires extraordinary control. Each wafer is inspected thousands of times using electron microscopy and X-ray scattering. Artificial intelligence models monitor results to predict yield variation. Process engineers at Fraunhofer Institutes are developing machine learning systems that correlate etch time, temperature and gas chemistry with nanosheet uniformity. This adaptive control minimizes waste and improves output consistency across fabrication lines. Packaging technology has evolved in parallel. As transistor scaling slows, performance gains depend on how chips are assembled. IBM and Samsung are exploring hybrid bonding methods that vertically link logic and memory dies with minimal resistance. Renesas is developing system-on-package platforms that combine different chiplets through fine pitch interconnects. These approaches allow specialized components to work together as a unified processor while keeping data transfer energy low. Thermal management is equally critical. As nanosheet density rises, local hot zones appear in unpredictable patterns Fraunhofer IZM has demonstrated embedded microfluidic cooling channels built directly into the silicon substrate. These remove heat evenly and prevent thermal stress fractures. The result is longer component life and stable performance even under sustained load. Advances like this make next generation chips not only faster but also more durable. Every new fabrication node raises economic challenges. A complete 2 nanometer fab can cost more than $20 billion. Governments and industry consortia are now investing jointly to distribute that cost and expertise. Partnerships between IBM, Samsung, ASML and academic research centers such as CEA Leti are helping to standardize tools, share data and accelerate pilot production. The collaboration model replaces national competition with technical specialization across organizations that depend on one another's strengths. Circuit designers must also adjust. GAA devices respond differently to voltage than earlier FinFETs, requiring new simulation models. Compact modeling software is being refined to include quantum confinement effects that appear when electrons move through channels only a few atoms wide. These tools allow designers to tune gate dimensions, spacing and current thresholds with mathematical precision before any physical wafer is produced. Testing methods have evolved as well. Direct probing is no longer practical at this scale. Instead, engineers use scanning capacitance microscopy and electron holography to visualize electric potential across nanosheets. Measurements from these instruments verify that each gate maintains uniform field control from top to bottom. Data gathered from these tests feeds back into fabrication simulations to refine process steps in the next production run. The shift to 2 nanometer logic changes how energy is used throughout computing. Smaller transistors switch faster and consume less power, reducing total energy per computation. When applied to large data centers, these gains lower electrical demand and cooling requirements. The improvements come from direct physical efficiency rather than abstract sustainability targets. As computing needs expand, such real energy reductions become essential. 
research for future generations is already in motion. The next step, around 1.4 nanometers, may use nanowire channels instead of nano sheets. The gate would wrap fully around each cylindrical wire, offering even greater control. Optical interconnects may soon begin to replace traditional wiring within chips, transmitting data as light rather than current. Quantum interface circuits, now in early trials at IBM and several university labs, could eventually link cryogenic processors to classical logic through photonic bridges. Each new generation of semiconductor design forces a rethinking of physics, materials and architecture. The move to two nanometers is not a smaller version of the past, but a structural leap that introduces a new way of controlling current at atomic scale. Instead of merely pushing FinFET smaller, engineers have created a new geometry that will continue to evolve over the next decade. It proves that technological progress can continue even as physical limits approach. For viewers, understanding this shift shows why the next wave of processors will be different, not just in speed, but in design philosophy. Their performance arises from nanosheet geometry, backside power routing, and the collaboration of corporations and research institutes that specialize in distinct parts of the process. Every advance in modern chips reflects that shared expertise working in precise harmony. As we reach the two nanometer milestone, semiconductor design now stands at the boundary between engineering and atomic physics. The continued exchange of knowledge among industry and academia ensures that innovation remains possible even as structures approach the scale of individual atoms. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.